Yes. Yo. It's time to make a malt liquor video. I'm move the shit out of my way. I gotta give a big fuck you to all you animal rights pussies. <clears throat> so, the other day, what's today? Friday? Saturday. Yesterday, on Friday, front page news on one of the local newspapers where I live here was talking about our animal shelter. And in this article, <clears throat> it mentions that the operating cost monthly of this animal shelter is $50,000. Now this is just one animal shelter in a basically rural community, I assume it's, I don't know if it's run by the county or, it's not state, you know, whatever. It might be even private, I guess. Probably even private. At any rate, all across the country, there are animal shelters that are run by the county, the state, whatever. But this one animal shelter, $50,000 a month operating cost. Now this is a no-kill animal shelter. They don't euthanize animals there. So, let's think about this. What we've got is a facility in which unwanted animals are kept alive at the expense of $50,000 per month and uh, Nobody wants these fucking animals. But we're spending $50,000 a month to keep them alive and not kill them because that's inhumane. I'll tell you what's inhumane. What's inhumane, since the animals aren't human, what's inhumane is that we support this and we allow humans and their families to live homelessly. There are homeless people in this country. People, humans, who don't have a home. But we can spend $50,000 a month on this one animal shelter to keep alive and not kill a bunch of animals that nobody fucking wants in the first place. Now, 40 ounces for real, he pointed out that we just put a bullet in their head. <clears throat> Problem solved. Animals are gone. Nobody wants them anyway. I got a better solution. I got a big fucking hammer. <laughs> Blast a fucking dog right in his fucking face with a hammer, and he's dead. I can kill a lot of dogs with this one hammer. I don't have to reload it. I don't have to purchase anything else. One fucking hammer. <laughs> Alright, that might be a bit much. Point is... $50,000 a month, this community could be housing a hundred families in $500 a month apartment. Okay, you know, then they have to pay their own groceries and electric and shit. Can't give them a handout that big. Well, you know what? $50,000 a month, you could put a family in a house purchased free and clear. Now, it ain't going to be the nicest house. You know, maybe get them a trailer. Whatever. A lot of people live in trailers in this area. Anyway, $50,000 a month, you could put a family in a house every month, free and clear. But no, we want to spend it on fucking dogs. Fucking dogs that nobody wants. And then, 40 Ounce For Real also pointed out <coughs> that these dogs are kept in cages. Like criminals, 
I was telling him, say the polar bears about it. He was saying, yeah, that's a prison for dogs. And cats. It's a prison. Well, you know what? These dogs and cats didn't commit any crimes, now did they? If they did, they certainly, you know, some of them, yeah, okay, some of them bit people. Kill their asses. Right away. What are we fucking waiting for on that one? Point is, people, that's just this community. Nationwide, how much are we spending on animal shelters to keep alive and house dogs and cats that nobody fucking wants when we could be putting families who need help in homes? Think about it, people. Oh yeah. Welcome back, Beavis and Butthead.